Suck it here, and today we're going to be looking at Chris's hollow palm build. So let's go through what he sent us first. Hey, Chief, I was wondering if you'd review this hollow palm build. Everything in the build is exactly how my character is right now. I haven't made any adjustments, nor do I know how to get the PB working right to properly calculate hollow palm DPS. Feel free to tear me and my choices to shreds in this build if necessary. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know my general defenses are pretty shit, but what I'm struggling with most are the Conquerors and Cirrus. Really just being able to su consistently survive is my main issue. If you can help me get this build up and running and consistent, I can really get into that PvE endgame for the first time. Softcore, by the way, cheers, Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Now let's try and just get as much defense into the setup as possible. Now this is the first hollow palm build I've ever looked at. Um, so expect a little bit of like shuffling. Now, you say that you feel super squishy. Obviously, you know, you've kind of got 10% increased damage taken. That's not going to help. So dropping this and going something like this, that would probably be a good idea. Um, but first off, let's just go through the skills and let's go through the gear and then just kind of like work out, you know, what, what sort of setup you've got, shall we? So you're going to be running Cyclone, Pale, Melee, Fizz, Brutality, Infused, Channeling, Fortify, all solid. Um, eventually you'd level these up. It doesn't really matter, but just because it makes me feel better inside. That's so that you've got that going on. You'd want a level 20 Cyclone when you can get it. Oh, sorry, level 21. Vol, Molten Shell, Second Wind, Dash, Ancestral, War Chief, Pride, Maim, Dread Banner, Flesh and Stone. The Ancestral War Chief. It gives you a little bit of deeps because it gives you a little buff. But I'd probably just drop it and rather run increased duration on the Molten Shell setup. Um, because you're so limited by links. Because you're, you know, you can't use so many items. You're kind of screwed there, right? Um, so I'd probably rather run the increased duration on the Vol Molten Shell. It'll make you feel a lot tankier. Um, and you said you wanted to boost your tankiness. So let's, let's just shove that on there. Okay. Otherwise, looks solid. So for the tree, um, you don't need to go resolute technique because you've got enough uh, accuracy that you've got ninety nine percent hit chance. You could also run like a, a level one precision or something if you wanted to. And that link we just cut, but whatever. So we're just looking at adding defense to the build. Now the points are relatively low. It's only level eighty five tree. Um, so we could go for you're an impale build. We could go for a, a closet jewel setup and then shove the hollow palm on the end. That's the main thing that instantly stands out to me. Um, is there anything else that's like you should obviously take these notes? Um, three point two per point. Eh. Uh, three point seven per point. 9.2 per point. 4.4 per point. See, so yeah, anything that roots through decks is extra strong. So that's 12% damage, damage attack speed, damage attack speed, and that's attack damage with main hand, attack speed with off hand, attack still still 50% increased damage. I'm not entirely sure how that works with Hollow Palm, but apparently that's pretty good. Um, let's have a quick look at uh, some PB Ninja stuff. So this is just a heat map for how people are building it in hardcore. I uh, can see you're mostly pretty spot on. A lot of people do take this cluster. I'd be very tempted to fill that in. I'd also be very tempted to fill in Ranger Start for extra life because you you root right up to it and then don't fill it in. So let's fill in the life nodes. Um. So here you've got a fluid motion which transfers strength into dex. Still, it's not worth rooting through nodes that, like, you're just rooting through 10 decks at that point, right? So it's not, not super worth. Um, you could do two points here instead of two points there because you don't need the int. So I guess that's a slight DPS increase and slightly more point efficient. 
Uh, one thing you could also do is take uh, Battle Cry for three points. They've changed it so now uh, skills on left click um, don't interrupt you. So you could have Instant Enduring Cry instead of this increased duration thing we cut here with the second wind. So it will have a shorter cooldown and extra charges. That could be really nice. Um, and I'd be kind of tempted to shove that in, to be honest. Um, so maybe you go for that. I don't know. But again, it's... You know, it's kind of fluffy. You don't need to do it. Um, but it would make you feel a bit tankier. Otherwise, I don't necessarily think there's any real issues with the tree. Otherwise, I'd maybe sh like fill in uh, this cluster. Uh, but let's just mostly look at the gearing and the cluster jewel setup. So, obviously, you're not using any weapons. And you can't use any gloves because that's how one with nothing works. Uh, so, for your helmet, you've got uh, life resists obviously you're gonna want decks on every slot so you're gonna want decks on your helmet uh using wild rack which gives you 15 percent dex 10 percent attack speed some movement speed increased damage by 15 decks pretty pretty fucking big dps increase um pretty big oh you don't take the life here oh do you take the life here man like again it's just these are just rooting through 10 decks now it's Filling in this life, filling in this life, that'll make you feel a lot tankier. Okay, so that's 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 step one. Get the life nodes. The life nodes are good. Um, your boots have no decks. Obviously, you want decks on every slot. Uh, you're running an Astramentus. Astramentus is great, but you can get better than Astramentus with just a well-crafted rare with like increased attributes, increased decks, flat decks. Um, you can then also get stuff like life. Um, and then you've got no decks on your iron ring. You have got decks on this ring. Uh, you can get decks on your belt um, through essences. And that gives you a bunch of decks, which is great, but it's not giving you any life. So you want a life dex jewel there. Um, so mostly we're just going to be looking to clean up your gear a little bit. And then fill in a new cost jewel setup also your flask up seems a little bit weird to me i don't really agree with the sulfur flask or the kiara's determination um you take iron reflexes but then you're not running a jade flask so we want to increase your defense because you say that you're really squishy so let's increase your defense so you say you're really squishy i'm just going to reorder these a little bit because i'm weird and i need to take an order um you haven't got bleed removal you have bleed removal on your sulfur. Put bleed removal on your life flask. Um, so I'm just going to delete that. Delete that. And delete the Kiaras. And then we're going to craft jewel. Not jewel. We'll get to that in a little bit. Craft flask. Utility. Um, a jade flask of um, warding then chemist will be your prefix or perpetual whatever it is you prefer in that case uh, and just seeing to see what your armor values go up to with the stuff because you go it's like 20k decent you run flesh and stone did you you run flesh and stone cool um you could run a stibmite flask Definitely running a, a life flask. Um, so for the other slots, you could go for a basalt. You could stick with the sulfur. Probably go for the stib knight. Uh, the reason why I'm saying go for the stib knight is the stib knight still going to provide you um, with armor. And when you're bossing, you're going to be in blood stance. So the stib knight is still going to be giving you like extra blind for when you're in blood stance. And it's giving you armor and it's got good uptime. If you didn't want to use a Stib Knight, you could go for instead a Basalt Flask or a Sulfur Flask or something else. But uh, I would probably go for that. Um, just because you're going Iron Reflexes. And then when you have the Jade Flask active, the increased evasion becomes even stronger. So we're going to put Heat of this. Um, let's see, it gives you now 4k armor when you've got the Jade active. 
So now you get up to 25k armor, which gives me much bigger molten shells. And then we'll give you a life flask of staunching. Either a seething divine or a catalyzed eternal, depending on which you prefer. Right. So, is there anything else I'd really change about this tree? Is that really worth it? Don't know if that's really worth it. Hmm. Let's just have a quick look at like what the ultimate, ultimate um, DPS warriors are doing with their setups. This way, something coming up that way. I do think I want to take those points along there. I don't get this mule near meme. Is there a meme that I'm missing? I think there's a meme that I'm missing. I'm guessing they're just putting stuff which has very... Oh, they're putting stuff on which has very high stat requirements that they don't meet. Um, it's just they can level gems there. Um, which kind of makes sense. At least I'm guessing that's what they're doing. I'd probably rather run a per oh not probably I would much rather run a perfect farm than a brush scrap because again it's giving you extra defense. Um defense is good. Yeah. Um I'd probably go for something kind of like that and run a perfect farm instead of a brush scrap. Because it's still giving me the increased defense. Um yes, you're going to lose some damage. However, you're going to gain a bunch of life. Which is important. You said you were falling over. And it's going to give you um, Articama, which is really nice when you're cycloning over everything, chilling everything. And also it gives you phase acrobatics, which is spell dodge. The only issue with this is it's one extra gem. And it being an extra gem is kind of spooky. It does also give you an extra 5k armor. If you could fit it in. Also work around the resist because it does give you some minus cold res. Um, it would make you substantially tankier. Um, Articama is better if you're stationary because if you're stationary then you're getting the reduction. But if you're spinning you're still chilling everything. So it's still solid and it still slows the attacks even stuff for people who hit you. Um, so I still really like that to be honest. Uh, let's just look into some Cossage setups that you could go for. Again, you don't have to use Perform. You could use the Wild Draft if you just want the DPS. That would make you feel a lot tankier, though. Um, and let's also look into some Amulets. So. Um, you would need a... Do, 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 do. Jade Amulet. And which one was it again that gave... I know it's difficult to beat Astramentis, but I'm just curious at how ridiculous you would have to get to beat Astramentis. Which one was it that gave all the increased attributes shit? Um... Redeemer gives increased dexterity. You don't run hatred, you don't run grace, you don't run purity. Mm. So get damage per dexterity. Should be nice. Um. Let's just see. Let's just see. I know you can stack like attributes and decks and all that other shit. Um, and then... At what point is it then a DPS increase? So if you get, get if you can get tier one decks, percent decks, it's barely less. And then 
and you can then have other mods. So if you then had that and all attributes, it's then a DPS increase. Okay, so it's pretty hard to beat, but it is possible. Um, and then if you had like tier one all attributes, tier one dex, percent dex, it's then like it, it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat. And Astromentis, because it gives you 100 life, so it gives you a bunch of strength. So, Astromentis is okay, but you could look into, like, a Redeemer Ami, possibly. Um, so, the main thing, really, is just trying to, like, fit in decks on all your gear. So, obviously, your belt's nothing that special. So, you could sh get some decks in there. You can get... Uh, that ring's okay, but the life is really low. And then... But, like, you know what you need to improve, basically. It's just, like, the gear you have, just get it with better rolls on it, really. Nothing's, like, 32 life. Like, come on, dude. Uh, you're running a chest piece with no life, and obviously no gloves, no shield, no nothing. And it's like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, realistically, the gear is just a case of the same gear, but better. Uh, I much prefer this tree. Don't skip all the life nodes if you skip all the life nodes it's like oh i don't it's weird i don't do any damage it's like well yeah because you didn't take any of the life nodes it's like you know you're not going to do any damage sorry you're not going to have any life if you don't take any of the life nodes um because you just only took damage nodes and you took an ascendancy which makes you take 10 percent more damage which is going to make you take a lot more damage um and then if you had max rage stacks which you would as a berserk you're at like three mil but for the things of boss, you're still at three mil. Like it's good, it's good. Um, so let's talk about cluster jewels for a little bit. Jewels. So uh, on attack jewels, you can get deep cuts, which would be a big DPS increase. So you'd want deep cuts with using cyclone. Go for Devastator for explosions. It's probably what I would go for. Um, drive the destruction for Leech. Do you already have Leech? Do you actually have Leech? Do you have it on your gear? Right, so maybe going for Leech would be good then. Um, feed the Fury again gives you Leech. Feel the Fight gives you uh, Mana Leech, which you might need. Uh, oh, wait, did you take the Leech Ascendancy? Oh, you took the Leech Ascendancy. Sorry, I, I, for some reason I didn't see that. I spaced out. Okay, so you have the Leech. My bad. Uh, in that case, I'll probably go for uh, Devastator for the Explosions and then for your Suffix. Um, you could go for... Um... Mm, main one hits, okay. You need the two jewels, but... I know you kind of want to save points, so I, I wouldn't really bother with any of these other nodes because they're not none of them are that crazy, but probably like martial prowess or something. Um, so probably just go for just focus on deep cuts, devastator, two jewels. So let's shove that in instead of there. Um, you need to add a third jewel to push it to the front. Okay, so let's just add in whatever mod. Right, because the prefixes, if you have a suffix, the prefixes will always be at the front, right? Um, we'll add a bunch of points, then we'll cut points, then we'll, we'll shove the jewel back in there. Um, so then we'll cut those points down. Uh, cutting those three points is only 3.3 .3 per point. Obviously, we need to actually put in the... Uh, let's see how much DPS that actually is, sorry. That is... It's only 4.1 per point, which isn't that insane. 3.7 per point. Could just root through the decks instead of rooting through that. Because that doesn't do anything for you. 2.6 per point. You know, I'd, I'd just root that way. Keep the points as low as you can. So one of the nice things about this build is that you can just root through dex nodes. Like, out of interest, if you went 1, 2, 3, uh, your damage would be 2619 versus 2474. So it's like, it's not that big of a loss. You lose a little bit of accuracy, which kind of sucks. But you could root through that for, again, less points. 
Um, because, you know, cluster jewels are kind of good. Anything you can to reduce, uh, points is great. That's not worth cutting. Uh, that's not worth cutting. That, uh, not worth cutting since one info point. Okay, so let's see if it's like sort of like that now. Uh, and then for medium jewels, you've got some pretty cool options. Um, so there's some, your cyclones, there are some really cool channeling options you can go for. Also, did you have your infusion shit active? Because you are in infusion all the time. Uh, why did the DPS suddenly like plummet? What did I do? Um, right. Uh, assert dominance is fine if you want area. Expansive might, eh. Uh, intensify, nope. Magnifier, you're not crit. Powerful assault, you don't want knockback. Nope. 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 Okay, so you're not going for area damage. Just gonna go for the channeling shit. Where's the channeling stuff? Here we go. So, um, enduring focus can, is really nice because it can give you endurance charges each second while channeling, um, and it gives you damage. So I'd be very tempted to go for enduring focus. Warcry stuff would be great, but he's very starved for links. So I'd probably want to shove one in there. You just want to make the character as tank as you can. So that's a really good one. Hexbreaker is solid um, to give you uh, curse immunity if as long as you never stop cycling. That can cut a mod off your flask. Something to think about. It's an option. Uh, precise focus. You're not crit. Uh, rapid infusion is very big. Because it gives you movement speed. And it gives you increased effects of infusion. It doesn't affect the damage reduction. But is just a DPS increase. So I'll probably just go for rapid infusion. Um, you don't need the block. You don't need the stun immune. Because you're already stun immune. Challenge skills regen there. So you're going for rapid infusion and enduring focus. And a jewel. Boom. Shove that in. There. Shove that in. Uh, there. Uh, and we need to edit that to be five points. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Um. One with nothing goes into that one. And then we'll be shoving into this last jewel. And then we need to cut some points down because, you know, points. We keep, we keep putting too many points in. Uh, that is a DPS increase of 4.9. And it gives you... Yeah, so we're keeping that. Um, so, small cluster jewels. What would be the best thing for this dude? We could go for avoid ailments, uh, and then that plus helm plus gloves is an option, but he's very, very starved. The other good thing about small jewels is they're a very good source of all res. You could also go for life here. Um, you don't need enduring composure or anything from the armor jewels. So we gave him endurance charges from his medium cluster jewel, so not armor. Uh, we could go for the evasion mod to get the... Um, sorry, the dodge mod to get the uh, no witnesses elusive effect, which is very, very strong. Uh, we could just go for fettel as well. Um, I really like the elusive one. It gives you movement speed, gives you dodge, gives you spell dodge. Um, could just go for fettel with a life jewel though. Uh, you could also go for max res. The max res one's really good. People don't really value the max res as much as I think they should. Um, Prismatic Dance, plus one max res, super strong for two points. People take, um, you know, Soul of Steel. Max res is kind of OP. Stacking max res is really good. Uh, I would take max res for two points, probably. Um, but otherwise, you could go for Fettel for more life. So now we need to cut the points down as much as we can. Right. 
what do I cut to get these points lower? Uh, that is 2.7 per point. What is his impale chance? Because he's got 50% chance to impale there. Uh, don't. Don't you f dare after I've recorded this entire video break on me. No. I didn't save the build. Press enter slash escape to dismiss. Okay, it's fine. We saved it. Alright, let's just save it real quick. Chris uh, Power Vista. Save. Uh, right, what was his impale chance? Um, chance to impale 95%. Damn, how can we get another 5% impale chance? Um, I mean, you could just root through that. These nodes are very good, but they're not that point efficient compared to when you could get that, which would be like 3.9 per point. And does he got quality on support? He does have quality on support. And does he have Dread Banner? Oh, that's true. He has the Dread Banner with quality. Whoops. Uh, then I don't think he needs to go through that anymore, does he? Um, 97% chance to impale. Yeah, no, he has to take that point. But fine, it's, it cuts the point down a little bit. Okay, so I would go for something which looks something sort of like that. That again was 72.5. Uh, it gives a reduction against the hits. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll probably get that last. So now I look at level 92 tree. So yeah, if you wanted more life, you could shove uh, Fettel in here. Fettel would also be very good on this build because of flat life. Because you haven't got much flat life because of the gear you're using. Well, let's just shove a Fettel in. Um, and then just shove like all res. Because you can also get like just dexterity and nodes and stuff. Like if you had a high roll one, you could get dex, life, like all res or something. And your ideal would be all attributes decks. But let's just say you had that and that, right? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this as a tree. So you can shove the Enduring Cry on there as an option. You can also go for the Increased Duration on there. As we said. Um, depending on how you root through that shit. Um, but yeah, I like this a lot. You've now got 25k armor. Um, would strongly, strongly consider the perfect form. You'll feel much tankier. Yes, you will lose DPS. But you can't do damage if you're dead. Um, if you had better life rolls and all of your gear... Let's just quickly see how much life you would actually have if you had, like, good life rolls. So just change that to 80. And then that's a bit low. Like, on a helmet, you can get, like, 100 life pretty easily. Um, so if you had actual good rolled gear... Since you're not going to have 790 on, on there, there. Um, Gorokan's Flight. Ooh, that's an interesting pick. Um, let's see. So these would give you DPS, they give you 300 life, they give you regenerate life while moving, and they give you immunity to burning, shocked, and chilled ground. Ooh, I like these quite a lot, actually. These are cool. He would struggle with resistances, but these would be a very nice pick. They also give a bunch of armor. Yeah, that's a good shout, dude. If you could fit these in, I think these would be very cool, actually. 
um, be a big chunk to your life. So yeah, you to do this, you would have to go pretty heavy on resist rolls on your jewels, but it's possible. Like if you get all res on like all the suffixes, um, and then on yeah, it it's 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 possible. It's possible. Cause like you don't need the in on that ring. And it's an iron ring. So this could be an all res ring. And then his belt has only got like one resist mod. And then this doesn't have Yeah, it's 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 doable, dude. It's doable. Yeah. But then you're looking at like 6k life. You've gained the spell dodge, all this other cool shit. And if you didn't want to run the perfect form, you could then still run the wild rat. Yeah, no, I, I like this. I like this stuff a lot. Um, other options you could go for is you could go Chieftain, um, but then you would no longer be pure physical, so I'm not entirely sure about that. You could go Jug. I probably wouldn't have done this as a um, Marauder in the first place. I would have done this as a Champion, but that's a completely different build. But I, would have, I personally would have done this as a Champion um, and gone for the Impale stuff. And like Conqueror and all this other things, but you know, you can just blow everything up. I would say though, um, if you're really struggling on the deeps, you could also drop Aspect of Carnage, go Warbringer, um, take the instant Warcry node that we talked about earlier, and it's just a option you could go for. Um, because you know, you'll just be like constantly randomly full healing, and it it's something to think about, but anyway. I'm Taki. Have a good day. Thank you for the interesting build. You've definitely made me think about Hollow Palm. It was something I was actually like, I knew it was really strong, but I, for whatever reason, I wasn't hyped about it. But now after this, I'm actually kind of into the idea. And also, let's finally just say that you got your character up to 95 since you're going to gain a bunch of life with uh, levels. Yeah, nice 6.5k life if you could pull it off. Anyway, I'm Taki. Have a good day. Bye-bye.